All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We're in week nine, week eight of Elysian Fields contest prep, and we're working on some heavy singles and doubles this week. Started off with some bench, worked my way up to 280 pounds for this top single right here. Just as a note, that 280 pounds is actually a 10 pound PR for me. Then moved on to some triples on overhead press. You're looking right here at 175 pounds. I ended up calling this RPE 8.5. RPE is still something I'm getting used to. So what do you think? 8.5, nine, comment down below. After that, went on to do some chins. So what you're looking at here is I ended up doing uh, 50 pounds for five, 75 pounds for a bunch of triples, and I'm actually using my trolley arm loading pins as uh, fat grip handles for these pull-ups here, for these chins. So I did triples on the fat grip, and then I ended up working to a top double, I'm sorry, top single at 100. And then I finished with sit, uh, seated dumbbell press. Now normally, People only post their, their top training footage each week, but I'd like to show you. This is my third set, uh, 65s in each hand. And you can watch as uh, on the eighth rep that I was supposed to get, I actually only got seven. Overshot RPE a little bit, but that's just showing that maybe I need to back off. So move on to day two and worked on to a heavy single squat at 405. I'm actually pretty satisfied with this squat. It's not a PR and it's definitely not my best, but I'm really happy with how it moved and high stress right now. Uh, all things considered, I feel pretty good about it. Moved on to 355 back offs for two sets of two. I like to move the camera angle around to capture like different foot positions, to, to watch my hip path, see what's actually coming up first. But again, these doubles look pretty good. I've also started bringing my dog out in the gym more often, trying to get in the habit of including El Pucci in my training. So I'm also using trolley arms. I'm gonna try and use them here as a monolift type attachment for doing Romanian deadlifts. And they actually work really well. It gets the way, so I can get basically set up and I can rock that weight exactly where I want it to be. Not that walking it out is really that difficult, but I have the trolley arm, so why not? And then I finish this day up with lunges and some planks. So as you can see in my training footage, I end up using these DB15 loadable dumbbells from Rogue quite a bit. Overall, I'm really happy with them. To be perfectly honest, a set of dumbbells would be way better than using the DB15s, but a set of dumbbells costs a lot of money for a good quality set, and I'm not interested in crap quality. I'm talking to you, Titan, you still suck and I hate you. And so these DB15s work pretty well. Not the best, but they work pretty well. But anyways, I finished that day up with some planks. Move on to day three. And this is my top set of push press. I started at 205 and just kind of worked my way up. That first rep was really a grinder. I, I didn't get underneath it near as quickly as I should have. But the second rep I definitely feel better about. Elbows are a little bit back at the start, but better than they have been. So that's 225 for a double. Called that a 9.5 RPE. Then I moved on to some pause close grip bench. You're looking at 200 and 55 pounds here for a triple and I called this a nine Which is a little bit over the prescribed RPE it was prescribed RPE 8.5 But this is the last set of pause close grip So calling it at a nine I still feel like I was pretty pretty close to the intent of the training So what do you think nine nine point five Comment down below. Then moved on to some weighted dips. So I started at 70 pounds and I worked my way up to 100. You're looking at 90 pounds of extra resistance here for a triple. So 
And then I ended up finishing the day off with some dumbbell curls, again, using those DB15 dumbbells. Move on to day four. Ended up coming in, I uh, was gonna do a, a heavy single at RPE9, so this is 500 pounds for a single. I've been working a lot on my upper back. Uh, you'll see that my, my upper back does come out of extension slightly, like my upper thoracic spine, but it's really not near as bad as it used to be. So a little bit of a hitch, 500 comes up, and then back offset was 435 pounds for a double, and 435 moved relatively easy. Again, I'm very satisfied with, with the training this week. And again, 500 pounds, not a PR, but we'll, we'll get a PR here pretty soon. I'm really trying to pull with higher hips. See, my hips still rise first, so I need to get my hips into a better position prior to the pull. And then I moved on to front squats. Normally, I belt up for anything that's heavy-ish for me, uh, but today I decided to stick completely non-belted for all the accessory work. And so here's front squats. I think this is two, you see the 245 or 255 for a triple, but I ended up doing 245, 255, and 265. The last triple was a little bit ugly. I ended up finishing that training day up at work with some uh, dumbbell stiff, dead, stiff deadlifts. So we move on to Strongman Saturday. This was an awesome day. I came in, uh, what you're looking at right here is 200 and 40 pounds. This is matching my old PR that I set a couple years ago. But I've been chasing that number like it was a unicorn. So 240 went nice and easy. So walked up to 250 pounds. So this is a 10 pound jump, which I know is a little bit aggressive, but 240 felt really good. And really just wanted to get a good solid PR. So good clean. A little bit aggressive, lost my balance going back and ground it out, got underneath it. Super excited. And so I was like, you know what, I got one more single for the day, might as well PR my PR. So I threw on one and a quarters on each side because that's just what I do. So this is 252 and a half. And I think I just rushed the clean because you'll watch, I actually end up having a really difficult time getting my elbows, especially my right side underneath that. And after that, messed up clean. There was just no way. But again, I was pretty happy with 250. So 252 and a half, not that big of a loss. So I moved on to, we're going we're gonna to call this the trolley arm deadlift car simulator. Car deadlift simulator. Uh, I did not realize when I was pulling this. So this is a pull for 60 seconds. Just how terribly atrocious my back position is in. The car deadlift that I'm going to be pulling for the Elysian Fields competition has a pretty low pick. And so I'm, I'm dropping my trolley arms down pretty low to simulate that. And I guess I just didn't realize just how much I was rounding over. Uh, so I ended up, after this set, I don't, I don't have video in this video of it, footage in this video of it, but I ended up going uh, about 50 pounds lighter and pulling a couple reps and I definitely got in a way better position but it's like I'm trying to pull from, with high hips and it's just rounding over it was ugly moved on to Zerker carry you're looking at my top here this is 430 pounds for 60 feet the Zerker carry purpose in this training cycle is because there's a Conan's wheel and I understand that during a Zerker I'm just moving straight and so I'm actually trying to breathe. I'm trying to have rhythmic breathing on these Zerker carries, which is why they're a little bit slower than they normally would be. But working on that breathing, I think, is going to be what, what pays back dividends during the competition. And then, of course, on Strongman Saturday, there's always some, some face or neck or whatever, face pulls. So 30 face pulls, and I like to superset these with my reverse hypers. And these reverse hypers are at 460 pounds. I love my reverse hyper. I really do. I love my power rack. I really do. You can see with 460 pounds on this thing, 
There is a little bit of shifting, but not very much. Watch as I jump out of the reverse hyper and then I finished up with some rolling thunder deadlift. So this is 135 pounds for a single with both hands. This is actually a PR for me. I know it's not very impressive, but I don't really care. I was happy with the PR, so 135 by one. Came up easy on the right. Switch over to the left. Didn't come up quite as easy, but it still came up. So I was like, all right, well, Feeling pretty froggy, it's a good day. We're setting PR, so I was like, let's throw 145 on. So here's 145. I kind of almost get it up with the right. And I gave it, I gave it uh, the good old college try with the left, but my grip just was not working with me. I was already fatigued for that 135. So then I dropped down 10% from the 135 to about 120. And I ended up pulling 10 with the right, 10 with the left. And then I did a further drop set where I was down at 105. I pulled 11 with the right and 9 with the left. So I still have a little bit of an imbalance there. But I've still only had the Rolling Thunder for three months. Three months of regularly training with it. So I'm sure that this number, these numbers are going to go up drastically in the future. But that's this week's training footage. If you like these kind of videos, please give me uh, a, uh, subscribe to my channel. I try to do these once a week. I also have some equipment review stuff that should be coming up slowly. I have a garage gym build video that whenever I get around to editing it, it'll get posted up. But anyways, give this video a like. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.